what's going on everybody? Welcome back, Justin here as always. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Let's talk about some movies. So today guys, I have a massive haul, another massive haul. You guys know I do it big. Whenever I do a haul or do a collection update, uh, it's gonna have some fun stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into everything I got here. I have some posters, magazines, Blu-rays, DVDs. I have some uh, uh, little figures here. I have, all, I have all kinds of fun stuff. We're gonna have a good time today. Uh, do me a favor guys, before we get into it, support the channel, support my algorithm by liking this video. Of course, comment down below as always. Let me know what you've been picking up. I answer all my comments. You guys know I'm busy in there. So we're gonna kick this off. I actually wanna give a special sh uh, shout out to subscriber Glenn. Uh, you know who you are. You're amazing. You've been uh, probably one of my longest supporters on the channel, uh, and you sent me some stuff. You've sent me things a few times, and I wanted to make sure I did that at the top of the video because, man, I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are amazing, but uh, Glenn, you, you just went above and beyond and uh, sent some really cool movies. I don't have the other magazine. You sent me a Scream magazine that was also amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, this super rad Starburst magazine. Uh, Glenn sent these all the way from the UK. So man, huge, huge shout out to you, my man. You are, uh, you are the shit. Thank you so much. So Super Rad Magazine, I've been digging through this. Top 100 horror films of all time. Really fun read. Um, and then you sent me a stack of movies, so we'll go through these. That one you didn't send. Uh, Fish Tank, which is a really cool independent film. I remember when this came out. Me and my uh, aunt and uncle, we like those art house sort of uh, snooty little art house movies. And uh, we went and saw that at a theater called The Tivoli in Kansas City. Cool movie. Um, and then a movie called The, the 13th Tale. Uh, with Sophie Turner, Sophie Turner, the chick from uh, Game of Thrones. So look forward to checking that out. Um, Sputnik, which is one that I've been, it's been on my list for a long time. Can't wait to watch this one. I think this was, uh, this is a Russian film actually, isn't it? Um, uh, I look forward to checking this one out. This one's supposed to be rad, like a sci-fi horror movie. Um, At the height of the Cold War, a Soviet spacecraft crash lands after a mission gone awry, leaving commanding astronaut as its only survivor. Um, after a renowned Russian psychologist is brought in to evaluate the astronaut's mental state, it becomes clear that something dangerous may have come back to Earth with him. Cool premise, can't wait to watch that. Uh, the Football Factory, which is one that I haven't seen, but it looks gritty, it looks cool, I'm into it. Kind of uh, looks like it has a little bit of a Green Street, uh, green, uh, green street Hooligans uh, vibe to that one. Um, this one looks like cheesy fun. Hammer presents Wakewood. This is super awesome. Uh, Glenn, thank you for throwing this in. This is uh, rad. Um, Dawn of the Dead with an introduction from Simon Pegg. Uh, so I think this is the novelization of Dawn of the Dead, which is so cool. Super, super rad, man. Thank you so freaking much. Thank you. Thank you to every one of you uh, for watching and supporting what I do. It, it truly does mean the world. Uh, Talking about movies is, is all I do. So um, on video and off video. So thank you guys so much. Anyway, uh, shout out to Glenn and let's get into the rest of the haul here. Uh, these, I actually just, we'll do the Dollar Tree first. First up is Men at Work. Uh, this is a great movie. If you've never seen Men at Work, it's a great little goofy, campy classic. Um, Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez, my boy Dean Cameron's in this. Um, I, I first saw him in Miracle Beach, but he was also in Rockula. Fun, silly little movie. Uh, next up is Thumbsucker. This is a quirky little independent film. It's got a great cast, Vince Vaughn. Um, it's got the girl from Bully, I forget her name. Lou Taylor Pucci, Vincent D'Onofrio, uh, Tilda Swinton, Keanu Reeves. It's got a bunch of people. This was like, there was a big independent boom in like, I don't know, it was probably like 2005 through like 2008, for some reason there was just an influx of all these independent Sundance festival style films. This was one of them, great little movie. Uh, this is a uh, Steven Soderberg, Soderberg movie called Bubble. Um, this one I've seen, it's been so long since I've seen it, I haven't seen it in forever. Um, but uh, what's interesting about this, I think it was shot on like 16 millimeter or some, crazy uh, lo-fi way of filming. Uh, he, Steven Soderbergh cast non-actors in the role, so they're all like just real people. It's a really strange movie about these people that work in this doll factory. Um, uh, yeah, so for a buck, I won't pass it up. This one, you know, 
<laughs> okay, I picked it up. I'm just gonna own it. I picked up Rumpelstiltskin, 1987's Rumpelstiltskin. Um, this movie stars, I looked on the back and noticed that it has like the head wizard from Willow, the guy who puts the bones and talks all crazy. The bones tell me nothing. I don't know, if you've ever seen Willow, it's a weird ass movie, but um, that guy's in here and he plays Rumpelstiltskin. It piqued my interest and it was a dollar. Forgive me. Uh, next up is a musical. I didn't know it was a musical until I read the description, uh, but it's called Stage Fright. It stars Meatloaf, Minnie Driver. Uh, this girl dreams of being a performer and some crazy shit happens. I don't know, I'm sure it's not great. Uh, this was a Best Buy exclusive edition that comes with an extra disc with some short film, The Legend of Beaver Dan. I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, it ended up in the... Uh, and then ended up in my local Dollar Tree. Uh, then I got a couple horror titles with the slip covers, and that is Trick and Spree. Uh, Trick I watched a, a long time ago when it first came out on streaming. I didn't, I don't remember loving it, but I wanted to give it another shot. I know a lot of people. There's a lot of fans of this film, and it had the slip, and it was only a buck. Shit. Uh, and then Spree, which was a lot of fun. If you uh, if you haven't seen Spree, it's about uh, Joe Keery from Stranger Things plays this Uber driver. He's trying to make it on social media. He just can't do it. So he decides he's going to film uh, this murder spree as he picks up uh, people in his little Uber style deal. Um, it's got an interesting performance. Who is the... David Arquette plays his dad. He's a pretty good role in that. Um, definitely suggest checking that out. This one, uh, Cliff Robertson and Leif Garrett. It's called Shaker Run. This, we're done with the Dollar Trees. I just picked this up on Amazon after listening to Quentin Tarantino talk about this movie. I actually heard him talk about it. And then in another pa podcast, they were talking about it. And uh, supposedly it's got some great car shit in it. And uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of Tarantino's recommendations that I've been wanting to check out. So that was one of them. Um, so Shaker Run. The, the, God, the DVD cover is terrible. I don't know if you can see that. It is horrendous, horrendous. It looks like a bootleg you buy off like in like Asia on the side of the street or something. It looks horribly cheap. Uh, and the next one in this little lot here is Side Out. Uh, I like these little VHS style Blu-ray releases. This is one of those. I have never heard of the movie, um, but I'm kind of into these like 80s, uh, like volleyball beach movies. Uh, Miracle Beach is another one that I really like, but Side Out, let me know if you guys have seen it. The cover, they have a modern cover on the actual Blu-ray release, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's a really cheesy looking um, artwork there, but glad it came with the slip cover. We'll save these for a second here. I did the magazines. I guess we'll go ahead and do these next. Uh, so this... I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Maybe I'll get, I'll take an extra shot of it just in case it's not showing up on camera. But this is a, um, a print of the, uh, I forget the designer's name, uh, Jay Groman, who designed the Mad Balls. I think he was like the head designer or artist for the original Mad Balls. And it, this came with this print. I had a horrible experience with uh, premium DNA when I got these figures, these Mad Ball figures. Um, they're very, very cool, but it was a kind of a bad experience. And I went back and forth with a lot of different people there. And I think they kind of just sent me this separate from those. I got this like almost a month after I got all those, this showed up in the mail. So it was a nice gesture of them because it was a horrible experience, but pretty cool little print there. Um, and then these from Fright Rags. These are super, super cool guys. These are uh, Darcy the Mail Girl and Joe Bob Briggs mini action figures. They're real cool little mini action figures with this, um, they're carded, so they're on this card. Honestly, I, the cards are so cool, I might just keep them on the cards um, because it's just so, such rad artwork. So I think Justin Osborne did the artwork for that, but those are really, really cool. The limited edition thing from Fright Rags. Fright Rags really mixes it up with their, they don't just do t-shirts, they do all kinds of weird merch and lunch boxes and socks and hats and all kinds of stuff. I'm sorry if you can hear my heater going, it'll go off in a second. Uh, Pete loves to lay my dog, my little Boston Terrier. He just plants himself in front of that register down on the ground and he does not move when that heater's on. So that's his favorite spot. Um, before I open this, I'll do these posters before I open this package from Diabolic. So um, as most of you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Katie Video. She does these modern uh, VHS tapes. She's doing the Batman, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, 
so much. The Haunting of Hill House, Good Time, all these amazing movies, including the ones right here. But uh, I found her on Instagram. She not only sells the playable VHS tapes, tapes with the newly commissioned artwork that she does herself, she also does prints of the VHS artwork for these modern VHS tapes, and I got a bunch here. So uh, there's one for Good Time. This is a Safdie Brothers film, the same guys who did uh, Uncut Gems. Uh, they're amazing directors. This movie is basically just an hour and a half anxiety attack, but um, she did a great work on the artwork with that. Um, then I have uh, Jennifer's Body, which is really, really cool. These are the artwork. These are the artworks that appear on the VHS covers. Um, I've done a bunch of unboxings and videos showing off her tapes. I'll link that down below if you're interested in uh, modern VHS. We have Midsummer right there. We have Suspiria. Um, I don't know what you guys think of the uh, the Suspiria remake, but I I love that movie. I find that movie to be sort of just intoxicating. It's just amazing. Um, if you've been holding off watching that Suspiria remake, even if you're a big fan of the old one and you think it's sacrilege that they remade it, I urge you to just give that movie a shot. It is night and day 100% different than the original. It's a completely different take. We hear people talking about remakes. You know, if you're gonna remake it, why don't you make it different? You know, don't try to do the exact same thing. That's what a lot of people say about remakes. Well. That's what Luca Guadagnino did with Suspiria, and it's fucking amazing. Next up is Spencer. Uh, she actually just included this, uh, just because she's a badass. I've never actually seen this movie, um, but I've heard great things. I've heard it's a great performance from, uh, what's her face, Kristen Stewart. Um, but that was really nice of her to throw that in. Uh, maybe I'll even do a giveaway for that one or something. And this is freaky. This was a fun movie. I. <laughs> I remember I did a trailer reaction for this this movie and I shit on it a bunch and I kind of refused to watch the movie I just thought it looked so dumb. I held off for so long. I finally watched it. That movie is so much fun uh, Freaky is awesome. If you haven't seen it highly highly suggest checking that one out because it's fucking rad next up Hereditary one of my favorite movies uh, Ari Aster can do no wrong in my book and this is another piece of beautiful art from Katie video uh, absolutely beautiful uh, first up on the list Phenomena or Creepers. This is a movie that I have never seen. Um, this is the 4K edition from Synapse. Absolutely gorgeous, uh, that artwork. There was a few different styles of artwork that you could choose from. I chose this one, this looked really, really cool. I think these may still be available in all the different artworks, um, so check that out. But uh, I'm really looking forward to watching Phenomena. I've never seen it. The only Dario movie I've seen is uh, Suspiria. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, next up, the 4K um, American Werewolf in London. I can't wait to check this one out. Again, it's been a while. Uh, beautiful Arrow edition. We love Arrow around here. And then finally, the one I fudged up on and got two copies of, that is uh, The Howling. So The Howling 4K. So maybe I'll do a giveaway. I don't know, maybe I'll end up selling it. I'm not sure. But uh, that's it, guys. That's the haul. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you uh, picked up recently down in the comments below. Hey, guys, and I think we're done here. Stay weird. Remember to always be yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.